What is up fam, welcome to another haunted adventure. My name is Omar and today I am in Niagara Falls, Ontario. I'm gonna be sharing an awesome, awesome haunted adventure with you, but I wanted to show you how beautiful Niagara Falls is. Now earlier today I actually went on a boat down there. Now across the water is the United States and I'm in Canada right now. In a little while I'm gonna have to take a walk on that bridge over there crossover back into the United States and that's where the Red Coach Inn is one of the most haunted hotels in the area it's crazy because I was talking about Red Coach and it waterfalls are red now and I got a red sweater on check out that merch hope you're ready for this adventure let's do this here earlier there was people everywhere it was so cool if you want to see that I did put up a cool video on my vlog channel and I took you like in the falls it was like right down there and I do encourage you man come check out Niagara Falls I used to actually live really close to here and every time I used to come I'm just like in awe see there is nobody here it's two o'clock in the morning they're getting ready to turn off the lights. I'm actually surprised they're still on. They usually turn off right at 2 a.m. As I'm walking, we'll probably see the lights turn off here in a second. Now, if you didn't know this about Niagara Falls, a lot of people have died here. They say that it is haunted, but I haven't been able to find like any cases of like ghosts being seen or EVPs. I mean, I guess you can't really hear much because it's so loud. Now at the bottom of the falls are some turbines that help power up the city. That's where the electricity comes from here in the area. When I was going on the cruise down in the falls, there is an abandoned plant, an electricity plant right below. And I have some footage of it on my vlog. I'll leave a link in the description. I did see an active plant across the way over here. Before we make it to the haunted Red Coach Inn, I want to I want to scope out this plant here across the street. I'm pretty sure this is the plant for the electricity. I mean, I could be wrong, but it's right in front of the Horseshoe Falls up ahead. See, there's the Horseshoe Falls. And where we're gonna be going is not far. Wow, you could still hear the falls from here, but it's not as loud. But yeah, I am gonna take a walk through customs I actually thought that the Red Coach Inn was on the Canadian side, but I was wrong. So let's go over there. It's going to be awesome. Right behind me there, that is the Red Coach Inn. Actually wasn't a bad walk. You can still hear the falls behind me. That's the American Falls right over there. And see, that's Canada. We were on the other side right now. But anyways, the Red Coach Inn, as large as it is, it's actually a bed and breakfast. Now it was built in 1920, I think 1923. It got burned, a good portion of it, in 1928, which was not that long after it being built. Supposedly two people died during that fire and they say that they haunt this place. Now to me, the most compelling haunting is by a bride and several people have seen it. In fact, I am staying at that room. It's called the honeymoon suite, but this bride was murdered sadly on her wedding night by her husband. I have no idea the motive behind that. And she has been seen several times in the room that I am in. I know they did a couple of shows. You can look them up on YouTube. I know A&E has been here, Bio. Pretty big networks have been here at the Red Coach Inn. Very friendly staff. I wanna give a huge shout out to Jamie. She works the front desk. And a huge shout out to Daya, as well as the manager, Mark. I'll share a little bit more of the history. So let's go to the honeymoon suite. What do you say? Being that this hotel was built in the 1920s, not saying that there weren't elevators back then. There's no elevator in this one. So we have to go to the top. I'm not that out of breath, but I didn't didn't really 
come up here in a rush. I walked kind of slow. So if you happen to stay at the Red Coach Inn, make sure to request this room right here. The reason why you're going to want to is because a lot, a lot of guests that don't even know each other have reported some of the same things. Now, before I share those things, I want to add that this is the room where that poor bride was murdered by her husband. And she has been seen here. They usually don't advertise this, you know, online. You kind of have to ask. You did hear from me. Let them know that Omar sent you. I told them, hey, I mean, people would probably really want to stay there. But they don't want to spook the guests, things like that. I'm not saying to avoid this room. This is the Victoria Suite. That mirror's kind of crooked. It's very beautiful in here. I can't believe I would have stayed here all by myself. Especially after hearing this story, when they were doing like the narrative. There was two gentlemen working. I think one of them had spotted her first. He sees the bride on the other side of the hall over there. She walks out of the wall. Now this gave me goosebumps when I heard this story. And she just stands there, turned to the side. When he realized that, you know, it was an apparition that they're seeing and his other Buddy had seen it too. They both witnessed this at the same time. She turns and looks at them and her face is disfigured. Now, it almost seemed like her face was like mutilated or something and it could have been from the husband. Now, when she had seen them, she started charging towards them almost as if they are the ones that were responsible for her murder. Now, chances are, this bride does not like men. And that's one thing that kind of worries me is that she has some kind of vendetta towards men. So if you're gonna stay here and you're a guy, like, please be careful. Not sure, you know, hopefully I make it through this video and make it through the night. Other people have, so I don't see why not. Let's go check it out. I'm not sure if that's the actual bride that had passed away and was murdered but that kind of looks according to the description of the two guys that were working in here of the woman they seen so she can be seen in a dress kind of like that almost looks like the same woman i don't know what do you think Hello? Oh wow, it's so cold in here. It's actually a beautiful bathroom. Got a jacuzzi tub in there. Sometimes you can see spirits in the mirror. Going. Won't you show yourself, little lady? Please. I know you don't like me. I know Hello? How do I turn this off? How do I turn this off?
Maybe that thing was on like an alarm or something. Oh, what is this? Oh, I thought it was a EMF meter. Oh, I got one of those. All right, so I thought that this thing was going to be in there, but it ended up being in there. About 15 minutes later, and about 45 pistachios later, I found it. I know you're here. I don't know why I feel like I feel like she's in this room. Huh. I swear. The toilet flush. And then I heard the toilet bowl. Hello? Hello? lie I'm not sure I'm gonna sleep tonight not because of fear or anything like that but I'm just I'm that excited like this toilet flushed and I don't know I have heard of things like that happening before and I don't know if there's scientific evidence to back up like toilets flushing on their own I just find that very peculiar maybe there is a chance that toilets can flush on their own I just I don't know. I've never experienced that before in my life. I'm gonna probably hang out here in the hallway. This is where that happened, where those gentlemen seen that bride. I have to share with you something pretty cool. I went and filmed at another part of the bed and breakfast at the Red Coach Inn. Uh, big shout out to Jamie and Daya, as well as Mark. I know I mentioned them already. However, they gave a special access somewhere that a lot of you probably would never even see unless you know of course it was like a TV show there was something really really awesome that was caught and I'm gonna go ahead and share that with you right now hope you're ready for this all right fam if you ever get a chance to stay at the Red Coach Inn and you get to run into these awesome ladies right here let them know that Omar sent you this is Daya this is Jamie she runs the front desk and she's mainly at the restaurant the right? hostess and front desk sometimes yes okay these guys are very accommodating I I didn't even ask and she was like hey you want to see the haunted office and I was like, well, hell yeah. <laughs> Daya actually sent me a picture, and I'll tag her right here if you want to follow her on Instagram, of a couple that was downstairs, and they caught a little girl's ghost. They believed that it was the little girl that died in one of the fires. When did that fire happen? In, well, to be 1928, it was built. So a couple years after it was built right. is when the fire happened. The back parking lot used to be a horse stable and the fire started in there and the little girl got trapped. Wow, so sad. Yeah. Tell me what you think. I'm gonna share the picture right now. You can clearly see a little girl. You can see the old fashioned dress. And I don't know, have people reported seeing the little girl? Well, they've been hearing her. If they'll hear things a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the little kids yeah, would be freaked sure. out when they get next to a booth that is Basically yeah, we did girl. have yeah. a little girl that was just freaking out and they couldn't tell why and she kept saying there was a little really? girl, little girl. Yeah. yeah, she was bawling her eyes out. I forgot about that one. Yeah. Wow. yeah. So hey, if you guys want to see this up here, make sure to give them a big fat tip and a hug. Come see us. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll take you up here. Uh, this is very exclusive. I very much appreciate it. Yeah, you know, um, I'm going to show you guys around. I'm going to show you the, the is it banquet hall. Yep. Yes, that's one of the banquet rooms. Yes. So, it's really and I'm getting back to my desk. 
Thank you so much. <laughs> Dai is like freaked out right now. Yeah. She she doesn't even want to go in here. So let's take a peek in, just to give you an idea. It's really dark in here. Oh wow, you have a really nice view of the water from here. Yeah. She's like, whatever. I'm here every day. <laughs> Definitely has that old 1920s charm still. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, there goes the falls right there. There's Niagara Falls. The Horseshoe Falls is right there in front of us. If you want to see a video of us over there, I'll leave a link here to my vlog where I went on the Maid of the Mist. Um, actually, it wasn't the Maid of the Mist. I forgot what the name was. Something Horn. Uh, Maid of the Mist is now on the American side. So right behind me is where that couple took that picture that I showed you. I went ahead and took a few pictures with this camera right here. And I don't know, I haven't been able to go back and look, but we're going to see if maybe I caught something. I mean, even if it was a, a cool orb or some kind of a silhouette of a girl, you know, let me know if you see or hear anything i'm gonna definitely take more pictures pretty cool right such a neat place here at the red coach inn now i don't know about you I'm not sure if you're the type that likes to sleep with your door closed i mean i know we're alone but i just i have to close my door and i have to lock it well i am gonna lay down for a little bit I haven't taken a shower yet I'm probably gonna do that here in a second i'm kind of scared something that kind of creeps me out about this bedroom jamie was telling me that different people have reported hearing a cat in here now i haven't heard a cat yet but maybe maybe you have i don't know okay i was in that hallway for a good 20 minutes no one was in there. I don't know. I could be hearing things. But I have to wake up really early in the morning tomorrow and catch a flight back home to Florida. Miss my family so much. I hope you realize that I put so much time. Like these places that I come visit aren't just like random places that I pick. These are known haunted historic locations that I have to travel to. I spend money to. So even though these videos are free for you to watch... They are not free for me to make. It does cost money. So I would gladly appreciate a like. I'm not asking for anything other than that. If you want to go a step further, go to my vlog channel. Buy my merch. Rep it out. I was wearing a sweater earlier. That's one of my merch designs. I know I'm blinking a lot. It's because I'm tired. But yeah, man, just show your boy some support. Not only me too. But other YouTubers that are, you know, traveling, they're away from their families. I miss my family so much. Been away from them for going on eight days now. Like, I miss my kids. I miss my dogs. I miss my wife. I just, I miss everybody. A lot of time goes into these videos. Please share them. I'll see you in the morning. Unless I come in contact with anything in the middle of the night. I'm probably going to take a shower in this bathroom. I don't think I'm going to go out in the hallway. See you in the morning. was like halfway asleep and I thought like my wife was getting into bed with me and then I didn't realize like hey I'm not at home I am not in Florida right now like that's not my wife I wake up and then there's nobody there this is the first time ever I am gonna sleep with the freaking lights on I would say I would see you in the morning but it is morning how about I see you at sunrise What's up fam? I probably look like crap. I only slept about 
two hours. Maybe, I don't know, I'm tired. Did something else happen last night? Yes, I was laying down, I was doing some meditation. I have really bad insomnia, so I have to do meditation like techniques to help me fall asleep. While I was in a deep, deep, deep relaxation, I felt again something crawl in bed with me, except it was from the left side. The whole bed shook. Like it was like a, like that, I swear. And I felt it, and I had to ignore it and just fall asleep. Maybe it was that kitty cat that people were talking about. I don't know. Something definitely, definitely, definitely got into the bed with me though. So we are inside of the Red Coach Inn now. This is where you would register if you were staying here at the hotel. This is where my friend Jamie hooked us up and Mark. There's nobody in here to my surprise, but yeah, it is 8.30 in the morning. There's a ginormous fireplace over there. Now beyond those doors over there, wait, is it over there? Not 100% sure, but that's where it goes to the office of the Red Coach Inn. Made it outside. Just wanted to show you what the Red Coach Inn looks like from the outside. It's quite big. I'm not sure if it was ever a house beforehand. I think it was always a bed and breakfast. Now, I wanted to also show you how close we are to the American Falls. There's the American Falls right there, and... Uh, I don't think we're going to be going for a swim anytime soon. There's tons of danger signs. I'm going to catch an Uber right now. I do appreciate you being a part of this adventure. It was a lot of fun, even though I didn't sleep very much. Place is definitely haunted. When I first came here, I actually booked for the wrong night, and it was a completely different room. So this was actually a great, awesome mistake, because I had no idea that the craziness was in the Victoria suite and they actually upgraded me for free and I didn't even have to call Expedia they're actually gonna wait two days to get paid that my friends is customer service I mean above and beyond so please leave them a really good review they deserve it and come visit the Red Coach Inn I gotta go for now before you leave give me kiss peace